Jewels worth a king's ransom. Yeah. Well, that wouldn't be much the way the king business stands today. Now, what are we going to get out of it? About 40,000 pounds. I mean in real dough. Dollars and cents. $150,000 at least. Hmm. Well, I don't want to be a wet blanket, Miller. But smuggling a chunk of ice like that into the States it's going to be a tough job. Listen, when the Hellenic gets to New York, a man named Dietz is coming aboard. Wait a minute. You can't get on board a ship in America until all passengers have been cleared. Dietz is coming aboard at quarantine, posing as a news photographer. Once on board, he'll come straight to my cabin, hand over the 40,000 pounds, and take the jewels away with him in his camera. How does that sound? Well, it's a great scheme, Miller, if it works. Oh, uh, what about your movements in New York? I'm not going ashore in New York. Once I get on that boat, I'm going to be a very sick man on a sea voyage for my health. <laughs> I've reserved the same stateroom for the return trip. Uh, what about my dough? Do I have to wait till you get back? You can trust me. I'm what you call a square shooter. And so am I, brother. You're a clever man, wait. Not wait. From now on, it's Miller. Did you pack his trunks? Everything is ready. Mr. Miller. I'll take care of that. What about the passports? They're right here. If this is yours. This will be mine. It's a pity, but you'll have to pass with that beard. Yeah, I figured on that. Can you handle a razor? Try me. Good, let's go. Was Miller expecting anyone? Not that I know of. You wait here. I'll see who it is. I'd like to see Mr. Miller. I'm sorry, miss. Mr. Miller isn't at home. He's gone. Gone, eh? Well, you just tell him Daisy wants to see him. He'll know. But I'm sorry, miss. I've already told you Mr. Miller isn't at home. In fact, he won't be home for some time. Perhaps you'd like to convince yourself. open. Why don't you go in? Ah, a pretty little thing, like you. And just as deadly.
That's all right. I'll find him and tell him for me that when I do, he'll be sorry he ever met me, the rat. We've got to get out of here. Not asked. It's getting dangerous. Not the police. Worse, a woman. Oh. I guess you can go after your walk now. Only a few people on deck. No thanks. I'll wait till later. I'm taking no chances. My dear, wait. Oh, don't call me wait. Until this deal is finished, I'm Miller. And you're my valet. Is that clear? Yes. At your service. Welcome. Everything fine. Love and kisses. Say, what the... That's Miller Cove. Meet you at quarantine. All set for deal. Peters and Deeds. Well, everything seems to be working out smooth, eh? Yeah. Well... I hope so. Oh, nothing to be nervous about. No? No. Take a look. Understand. Won't you sit down? Oh, uh, thank you, Captain. I will. <coughs> I'm quite familiar with all the details of the robbery, Lord Stanhope. Uh, you know the newspapers are full of it. Those jewels have a great money value, but they mean much more than that to my family. The point is, Captain, I have undertaken the job of getting them back. And you really think that the thieves are on board this boat? I am certain, Captain. That's why I am asking you for your cooperation. Mm. Well, of course, you understand that to be rather unwise to search or question any passenger without, well, without something more definite than a mere suspicion. I see. Commercial caution. Well, we could notify the New York police. That is, if you want someone held on arrival. And give the crooks time enough to carry out their plans? No, sir. Thank you. All right, come on.
in the Dodge. The guy's been following us. Oh, come on. He's only a passenger walking around the deck. Yeah? Just the same, I'm going in. I tell you, I'm not going out there again. Oh, it's nothing. You're nervous, that's all. Yeah. Dodge. Somebody's been in this room. They read this wireless. I told you we were being watched. States, the press boat meets the Atlantic at nine o'clock. Yeah, I know. This photographer's pass will get you on board. And this layout will help you find Miller's stateroom. I get you. That's an awful lot of dough, so don't fall in the bay. Don't worry. It's as safe here as in a bank. What bank? Come on, Inspector. Buy a poppy and help the veterans. Sure. <coughs> there you are. Cablegram, Inspector. Well, Doc, here's something right down your alley. Mm. Listen. Body of man shot and disfigured beyond identification, found yesterday in a house owned by Ben Miller whom we believe implicated in Stanhope jewel robbery. Stop. Lawrence Stanhope threatened thieves. Stop. Suggest you question him on arrival aboard Hellenic today. Scotland Yard. What time does the Hellenic dock? We're not going to wait until she docks. Hello. Inspector Carr talking. I want a police boat with a battery in 10 minutes. Yes. We're going to meet that boat. I was going to his cabin to get his passport for the immigration, sir. Twice I knocked at the door and he don't answer. So I'm thinking he's asleep and I decides to go in. And blimey, when I opens the door, there he is laying face downward. Dead is a dead horse. What does it look like, Doctor? This man was killed by a bullet. A bullet? The dent of his brain from the rear. I'd say he'd been dead less than an hour. Looks like murder. What's, what's happened? Something's happened. Something terrible has happened to him. Why, that's the fellow who shares the state room with this man. Why? One moment. When did you last see Mr. Miller? I left him a little less than half an hour ago, sir. When I went to the purser's office to change some money. That's right, sir, he did. Mm. Don't touch that gun. Radio of the New York police to meet us at the dock. This is their jurisdiction. Very good, sir. Purser. Yes, sir. Find Lord Stanhope. Bring him here at once. Very good, sir. Oh, Captain, there's a police boat coming alongside of us now. Very good. Do you know this man, Stanhope? I never saw him before I came aboard, sir. But this morning, out of a clear sky, 
He stopped me on the deck and asked me how Mr. Miller was feeling. I thought maybe he knew him, so I replied, Mr. Miller was quite sick. Did you see where he went after that? No, sir. You see, I went on to the purser's office to get some change. That's right, sir. I changed a hundred dollar bill. Oh, uh, did Mr. Miller bring United States currency with him? Why, uh, why, yes, sir. I searched Stanhope's cabin, Inspector. Couldn't find a thing. Right. Did you bring a gun with you on the trip? Why, uh, why, of course. I never travel without one. Here you are, sir. Hmm. Well, it's a sense that didn't kill him. No, Inspector. This is the gun we found near the body. Mm-hmm. Well, it looks like a woman's mixed up in this somewhere. Well, whoever did it, sir. Do you think they'd be fool enough to leave the weapon lying around? Well, keep quiet, I'll do the talking. Begging your pardon, sir. If you let me talk, I might have something to say. Shoot. Several times on the voyage, I seen a lady lingering out in front of this stateroom. I'm thinking it was the lady across the hall, in number 80. Doyle, bring in the lady in number 80. Yeah. I suppose you know what's just happened around here. I find it necessary to ask you a few questions. Did you ever see that gun before? Uh, yes. That revolver belongs to me. It was stolen out of my purse. Hmm. Did you know this man, Miller? Yes. Did you know him intimately? Rather. I was once Mr. Miller's wife. And you quarreled? Quarreled? Oh, I hated him. And you followed him on board this boat and killed him, didn't you? Come on, out with it, didn't you? Why, that's not Ben Miller. What do you mean? I mean, I mean, that's not my husband. Good heavens, what a resemblance. I never saw this man before. That's right. This is not Miller, the jeweler I followed from London. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let us get this straight. You suspected Miller was going to America to dispose of your gem? Why, yes, I traced the robbery to him. Uh, Captain. Yes. Were there any uh, credentials found on this man's person? None whatsoever. Inspector, just what does this mean to you? Holy mackerel. That man must have been in New York this morning. Exactly. And before getting on board this ship at quarantine, he must have bought a poppy. We'll find out who he is and how he got on board quick enough. Doyle, check up on the reporters that came out on that tender this morning. Right. You are the purser? Yes, sir. Would you be good enough to get us the $100 bill that Mr. Dodge changed this morning? Certainly, sir. Dodge, where are the Stanhope jewels? Jewels? You heard me. Hi, Inspector, you don't suppose he'd be carrying them around in a suitcase? Well, it's a safe bet they've got them hidden somewhere. I'll have a thorough search made, if you wish, sir. Thanks. If this man came on board this morning, Where's the guy who was traveling in this cabin with you? But I've already told you. The last time I saw him was just before I went to the purser's office to get some change. Here you are, sir. The hundred dollar bill. Check down the reporters, Inspector. This bird's a photographer named Dietz. None of the newspaper gang ever saw him before. Okay. Examine that for fingerprints and compare them with the dead man. Right. All right. If you won't tell us about the jewels, maybe you'll tell us who the man was found murdered in Ben Miller's house in London the day you sailed. You know, the man who was slashed up with a razor. Razor? Inspector. Blood, isn't it? Yes, and what's more, it's fresh blood. But no, there are no cuts on him. Inspector, this man's fingerprints are on the bill. Then it must have been he who brought the money on board. <clears throat> well, Mr. Dodd, you better come across. You're in a tough spot. Where's this guy, Miller? Wasn't Miller at all. His name was Wait. All right, come on, come on. You see, he... Wait. Double-crossed me, learned, killed him. Then he came on board with the jewels. Where is he now? I... I gave him a close shave this morning. 
You're liable to find him somewhere down the bay. Oblige me to the library. All right, come on now. Where are the jewels? In the bird cage. Doyle. Yes. You didn't like the idea of going 50-50 with this man, Wait, so you double-crossed him, eh? Yeah. Before he double-crossed me with this crook from New York. Inspector. Here are the jewels. Oh, oh there yeah. they are. That's the jewels, all right. I see. And when he came on board with the dough, instead of giving him the jewels, you gave him lead. Pretty crude. I had you figured out as a pretty tough hombre, Mr. Dodge. But I had no idea you were a one-man crime wave. Doyle. Yes. Send the gentleman's baggage what? to the tomb. Right. Inspector. What's the matter? What's, What's, the matter? What's happened? What's the matter? No. Doctor. Doctor. Inspector. Poison. Well, I can say this much for him. He certainly took life easy. <laughs> <laughs>